And last speaker is uh, Mr. Byung-Gu Lee, and he's a uh, general manager in the building technology department of uh, Sangyong Engineering and Construction Company. And uh, he's going to talk about the uh, sloping structure of uh, Marina Bay Sand Hotel project. Please welcome Mr. Lee. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for your coming to this presentation. Uh, today I'm happy to introduce this uh, supporting system for sloping structure. Uh, Marina Bay Sand, Sand Hotel in Singapore. Uh, let me introduce myself first. Actually, uh, my name is Yi byung I'm in charge of the structural design team at the Sangyong Construction Company. Uh, and I had worked for this project uh, for about three years, especially for, for this uh, supporting system for sloping structure. Actually, this uh, system is very important to the, uh, successfully complete this project because uh, there are excessive uh, inclination of the building structure. Uh, there are five topics. First, project in introduction, and then design brief, construction sequence, uh, structural analysis, and then building behavior monitoring system. This is outline of the, the Manabe Sand Integrated Resort. This include this include this is a convention center, casino, and theater, retail and shopping center, and art museum. And this is a hotel project constructed by Sangyong. Hotel project synopsis. Construction period is 27 months, and then construction cost is uh, 10 billion Singapore dollar. The consultant is architect Moshe Shapti, civil and structure Arab, and an MEP Parsons uh, Brinkop. Gross floor area is 300,000 square meter. And the 55-story hotel, three towers, and then about 2,600 2, guest room. And Sky Park at the 57th floor and the atrium at podium. Uh, three basement for car park. Uh, let me explain building structure first. Actually, this major structure is reinforced concrete structure. Uh, vertical members are shear wall. The span is 10 meter. Uh, horizontal member is a flat plate slab with post tensioning. Uh, transport truss located at uh, this is transport truss. Transport truss is located at uh, uh, level 23 to 27. This is steel structure. And then uh, sky park. This, this was the steel structure. The length is 347 meter, width is 37 uh, meter, and then cantilever portion is al almost uh, 67 meter. The gross area is uh, 12,000 square meter. Actually, this project has some uh, technical challenges due to abnormal building condition. First, high-rise building with curved shape. All uh, side is all curved shape, and then maximum 52 degrees of the excessive inclination, and then 27 months of the sh uh, too short construction period given, uh, given by client. So we need to focus on the several uh, consideration, excessive deformation on the construction, and damage on damage of building due to long-term deformation, and time delay due to additional temporary support. That's why we need to uh, invent this, this kind of the, uh, special supporting system. Actually, this, this system 
consists of two types of structure system, force sending system plus steel strut system. Force tension system uh, was applied in the sloping wall and vertical wall, and temporary, st temporary strut system uh, was provided between the two separate wall. Let me explain the post engineering system first. There are several uh, uh, components for the post engineering. First, the post engineering cable. Uh, 12 numbers uh, tendons in the sloping wall, and then six numbers tendon in the vertical wall. One tendon capacity is 380 ton. Uh, the diameter is on, on uh, 120 millimeter. Uh, this is a special dead end anchorage in the pile cap for embedding the, this uh, post tensioning cable. And this is empty duct in the wall. This is for the inserting the, this cable uh, later after the casting the concrete. Uh, this is stressing anchorage. After installing the tendons, uh, this tendon should be stressed uh, at the top of the wall like this to get the uh, proper tensile force and then uh, to resist the sloping, uh, to, to resist the uh, overturning of the, this sloping structure. Next one is a temporary, temporary strut system. A uh, serial layer of the strut, strut uh, installed between the two separate walls. Uh, probe 1 uh, installed at level 1 to level 8, probe 2 level 14, and probe 3 level 20. And uh, a hydraulic jet was installed at the end of the strut to provide the preloading uh, at the beginning stage and then to re release the loading at the removal stage. Uh, this is strut plan view. <coughs> Eight number strut is installed between the two legs. This is a vertical leg. This is a sloping leg. And the two tie beam installed at, uh, at the uh, last wall due to the lateral force of the inclined wall. This detail shows the uh, strut connection to reinforced concrete wall. So especially this, this uh, temporary steel cobalt is a steel structure. This one focus on the uh, easy installation and then uh, removal to, uh, to avoid the time delay. Construction sequence. First, we, we need to install the, this dead end anchorage in the pile cap. And then, <coughs> empty duct installed the, in the shear wall according to the concrete casting sequence. So, after finishing the level 5 concrete casting, we, we, uh, we need to insert the uh, post tension tendon and then stress at the uh, level 5. This stressing work repeat at uh, every three floors uh, in the sloping world. This is first straight strut. Uh, it has three segments, one, two, three, and then there are some king posts to support uh, this segment. This is segment view. This is segment. And this is a hydraulic jet. Uh, this is the last stage of the installation uh, strut, uh, supporting system. Strut installed uh, uh, level 1 to level 8, 14, 20, and then sloping wall has uh, uh, 12 numbers tendon and then 6 numbers stressing point. Vertical wall, six numbers tendon, and then three 
3 point of the strength. Uh, after uh, installation of the transfer truss from level 23 to 27, this sloping wall uh, can be uh, stable and uh, safe. So after, the, after this installation, we can, uh, remove, uh, we can release the loading first, the strut loading and then this tendon, tendon loading. After that, we can remove the, this whole strut. This is uh, truss isometric view, tower one and tower two. This is site picture. Uh, probe 1, probe 2, probe 3, and then wall tendon in the wall, and then transfer truss here. Structural analysis. This analysis had been uh, simulated to predict uh, building behavior, such as deformation and uh, uh, stress. So from, from this structural analysis, we can get uh, some expected data, uh, deformation and stress data, and then uh, later uh, we can compare the actual data to expected data. So if there are some problems, we can we need to the analysis or something. Building monitoring procedure. Sensor installation. Wall and then temporary strut and then iron PT beam. There are some sensor tilt meter and then strength gauge. And the monitoring in real time. New data was updated at every 10 minutes in the data management server. And then the uh, <coughs> engineer and the designer check the data and then compare the uh, actual data and then expect the data. If the two data are quite different, we need to do analysis and then uh, uh, corrective action should be done. This is a website display for checking the actual data from uh, real time monitoring. Uh, this is tilt meter for this uh, displacement check, and then this is string gauge for stress check. Uh, this is manual survey on building deformation. Yellow color is uh, yellow color is <coughs> a prism location to do a manual survey for building behavior, and then this is a manual survey procedure. Wall stress data. Vertical C is uh, stress, and then. Horizontal SX is a construction stage. The total line is expected data. Uh, continuous line is uh, actual data. Uh, two data shows a uh, similar trend. Temporary strut stress data. Uh, top, top curve is ex expected data. Uh, other one is actual data. Actual data is a little bit lower than the expected data. Deformation data. Uh, left graph is uh, deformation data, expected, expected data by uh, structural analysis. And the right one is uh, comparison graph. Blue color is uh, uh, expected data, other one is actual data. Two graph shows a quite similar uh, trend, and then this actual data is a, limit, a little bit uh, less than the, the expected data, so it's a limitation in, within the limitation. Actually, this is a lateral movement about uh, 140 something.
This is animation for your easy understanding. There will be deformation to the structure due to the heavy load from the shear walls imposing on the lower structure. An advanced structural analysis computer is used to study, predict, and monitor the stability and safety of the building structure. The program will effectively determine how the structures react to the imposed loads during construction and after completion. Prediction of likely deformation in the shape and stress distribution can be correctly counteracted by the design and introduction of post-tension works and temporary bracing. The shape of the building needs to be temporarily supported, which must conform to the design intentions and be secured when the structural works are completed. Sloping structure support construction is the method adopted to maintain the stability of the structure using a temporarily installed supports to counteract deformation and stress that takes place during construction. Post tensioning is the method of installing post tension anchors into pile caps with special pre stressing cables to create a tension to bring the tilted structure to a stable position, countering the deformation. One end of the special cables will be built into the pile cap with the other end tied into the sloping structure every three floors from level 8 to level 20 as the structure works progress, ensuring that the building's design shape is maintained. Temporary bracing serves as a way to support the sloping structure together with post tensioning until the transfer trucks and the associated RC works are completed. Temporary bracing comprising eight pieces of steel bracing will be installed on the 8th, 14th, and 20th floors and are to be removed after the transfer truss and concrete structure are completed up to the 29th floor. During construction, it is extremely difficult to ensure that the structural deformation conforms to the predicted displacement value. A well-designed monitoring system comprising of a strain gauge, displacement sensor, and tilt meter are installed on the structure during construction for real-time monitoring by computers to monitor displacement until the completion of the entire structure. The pre-camber must be properly planned incorporating predicted deformation values. Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. Those were three very, very, very uh, informative talks. So um, I'd like to open it up.